Just a week ago, we all received the amazing news that Japan would fully reopen for tourism again on October 11th. It's hard to believe how it all developed so fast, as everyone's dreams will become a reality in only two weeks. But with the opening date so close, I have received dozens of questions from concerned viewers regarding the updated policies in order to enter Japan. And understandably so. Over the past two years since Japan's been closed, the country has gained the reputation of one of the most strict border policies in the entire world. And like everyone else, the last thing I'd want is to spend thousands of dollars planning my trip only to be turned away at the gate for missing one small piece of paper. So today, I'm gonna go over all the updated border policies that are going into effect on October 11th, such as vaccine and quarantine requirements, the visa waivers, and lastly, Japan's COVID app that everyone's been talking about. Along with using multiple news and government information outlets, I used my signature move to get rid of any uncertainty you might still have. That's right. I called the Ministry of Foreign Affairs once again to get the answer to one of the highly debated topics. Using Japan's COVID app and if it's required, along with confirming everything else that's been released so far. So stick around to the end to listen in on the phone call. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly what to have ready at the airport and be able to enjoy your trip to Japan stress-free. To start off, let's quickly talk about the vaccine and quarantine requirements. Before the new guidance was released, least, countries were divided up into three categories, blue, yellow, and red. Based on the category your country fell into, you would have to meet specific vaccine requirements, and possibly even quarantining for three to five days. However, starting October 11th, Japan's government decided to do away with all of this and make one blanket policy. It's simple. All you have to do now is show that you're triple vaccinated or have a negative PCR test upon departure. For the negative PCR test, just make sure you use Japan's premium forms located on their Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare website. If you meet either of these requirements, then that's it. You're good to go. But wait, there's even more good news. As of September 26th, Japan's government has expanded the approved vaccine list to all 11 of the World Health Organization's emergency use list. So for all of you that had concerns about what type of vaccine you had, that is no longer a problem. And it gets even better. Along with the expanded vaccine list, Japan has scrapped the quarantine requirement for all countries. Now you can go straight from the airport and immediately start enjoying your adventures waiting for you in Japan. All right, now that we've cleared the air about vaccines, let's talk about visa waivers. Before Japan closed its borders to the world, there were 68 countries that had a visa waiver agreement with Japan that saved their citizens a big burden. However, when the pandemic hit, the visa waiver agreement between all countries was temporarily suspended. However, starting October 11th, all visa waiver agreements between the 68 countries will be reinstated. If you're not sure if your country's on the visa waiver list, head over to Japan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs website where they have the comprehensive list of every country. So you have your vaccine card or PCR test and passport ready, but you're still concerned because you heard about Japan's COVID app that everyone's uploading their documents into. And now you're wondering if you need to do this too. Well, don't worry because you're gonna get the answer to that right now. And finally, the last question. What is this COVID app people keep mentioning and do I need to have it fully prepared by the time I reach the airport? Well, let's back up a little bit and answer the first question. The app, which is called MySOS, is Japan's program to help streamline all your COVID-related documentation by getting all of it uploaded early. But is this app a requirement? Will you be turned away at the gate if you don't have this app ready to go? The answer is no, you won't. As long as you have all your physical documentation ready and show it at the airport, they will let you on board no problem. What they will most likely do is help you download the app and will assist uploading all your relevant documents. That way, when you get to Japan, all you have to do is show the app, which will help you and airport customs both save a ton of time. Just to confirm everything we talked about, I called Japan's Ministry of Foreign Affairs to make sure. And here's how it went. Hi, konnichiwa. Um, ego, ego sure, may I help you? Hi, yeah, um, I just had a few questions. Uh, I'm a tourist uh, thinking about coming to Japan. I just wanted to ask a couple questions with the new updated policies. Uh, I guess, okay. yeah, sorry. I guess my first question is, you know, starting October 11th, in order to enter Japan, if I am triple vaccinated, I don't need to show a, a PCR test, right? Yes, that's right. Okay, cool. Um, and then also on top of that, if, I, if I'm not triple vaccinated, I just have to show a negative PCR test, right? PCR test, yes. Yeah. 
right. Okay, uh, and then going off of that, the next question is for the approved vaccines, I can use, I can reference the World Health Organization emergency use list. I, I heard that they, Japan expanded the approved vaccines. Do you have the vaccine certificate? Yes. The card? Yes. Yes, it's a uh, Okay. okay, got it. So yeah, from any of the uh, World Health Organization use list. Mm. Okay, awesome. And then, you know, I show up with my vaccine card and all that. There's no quarantine required anymore? Yeah, no quarantine. Great, great. <laughs> Just to clarify on the visa waiver. So for the visa waiver uh, reinstatement, it's the 68 countries that are listed on your website, right? Uh, yes, yes, yes. And, and those countries are pretty much all of the countries before COVID, right? That had yes. a visa waiver? Okay. Yes. Yeah, sorry. And then my, this is the biggest question. My biggest question I have here is uh, with the Japan My SOS app, do I need to have that all ready to go, like prepared when I get to the airport? Or if I have like all my documentation ready, can, can someone at the airport just help me fill that out? Uh, yes, I think it's useful. I think those are all my questions. I'm just trying to be really cautious with, uh... yeah, I just don't want to, you know, show up to the airport and then ha have any like awkward situation come up. Yes. Thanks for helping me oh, out. Thank you so much. Yeah, I, I'm looking forward to coming back to Japan. <laughs> it's going to be exciting. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Have a nice day. Yeah, you as well. And there you have it. I hope that phone call put any fears you still might have to rest. If you still have questions, hit me up in the comments below or hop on the Discord where our community will be more than happy to help you out. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button so we can help share this great info with everyone else. For more great content about Japan, hit that subscribe button. Well, that's gonna do it for now. And until then, I'll see you next time.